Hi, it's Wednesday. Um, I got a haircut and um, I'm wearing my Robert Pattinson t-shirt. So cool. So, films that make us feel. Um, firstly, I'm going to see The Impossible tonight, which I'm really excited about because I watched the trailer and I almost cried in the trailer, so the film should be good. So firstly, I was going to talk about Like Crazy, but Sophie sort of covered it, so I won't really talk about it, but I'll just say I've seen it probably at least 20 times, and it's only, it's been out for less than a year actually, but basically it will make you feel every emotion ever, but it will also make you feel really depressed, but I feel like that's not a reason, like that's, it's, it'll make you feel depressed and in in also uplifted and like you've been through such an experience with them, basically. The second film is Take This Waltz, which is sort of a similar feel to Like Crazy. It's about a woman who it has this instant connection with a man, but actually it turns out that she's happily married. Um, it stars Michelle Williams and Seth Rogen, um, who I love. Um, so yeah, Michelle Williams is the wife, Seth Rogen's the husband, and it's basically about her sort of journey through whether to, you know, have an affair, to leave him, to stay with him, um, and it's sort of the whole like idea of the film is new things get old and life just has this natural gap in it that you can't fill but this character needs to and has to fill it with things that in turn actually just get old like everything else in life does. But the ending is sort of depressing but like it's mostly just, the ending's not depressing sort of like crazy, it's more just like it makes you really think about what the film is trying to tell you. It's really good. And the third is Fifty Fifty, which it's kind of a very odd, obvious feeling film. Like it's very obviously sad and happy in these parts, but it's the only film that I've really properly cried at at the cinema. Uh, me and my friend went to see it, and we just looked at each other at one point, and we were both sobbing. Like actual sounds were coming out of us because we were sobbing and the whole cinema was sobbing and we left the cinema we were like what happened to us in that cinema because just it was mad um then there's the graduate um the graduate is about um a guy who graduates from college and he doesn't really know what he wants to do with his life or himself and he's just sort of drifting and he basically has starts an affair with an older woman he actually in turn falls in love with her daughter and it's basically about that um it's so the end actually the end features in 500 days of summer but the end is very similar to like crazy in the sense that it's like we got what we wanted but do we really want it and about how the idea of something is often much better than the actual thing itself and how you're not really happy when you get get it you're just happy you're more happy chasing it basically um and how it's also about how things sort of change and things get ruined along the way and then actually things can never be how they were when they once started if that makes sense i will see Nora on friday bye